something that loads of my clients ask me is how do I resize an image? And because I've been doing Squarespace for so long, it's it's just second nature to me. And I forget that this, even though it is a simple thing to me, a lot of people don't know how to do this. They don't know how to, let's say they have an image that spans the whole width of the page. They don't know how to shrink it to half or they on Fluid Engine don't know how to drag an image from, I don't know, half the page to a quarter of the page. So what I want to do is break it down as simply as I can. So I'll go on to Classic Editor first and show you how to resize an image both vertically and horizontally. And then I'll show you on Fluid Engine, which is a lot easier, how to resize an image however you want. So first off, what we want to do is add our image blocks in. What I'm going to do is go into Edit. So I'm going to go on the home page as per usual. And then I'm going to add a classic editor section to show you how to do that. And then, uh, and then a fluid engine section to show you that as well. So let's go down here, add a section, add a blank section in classic editor, and we'll put an image here and we'll stick something from the stock image library. So we'll do this. And now that's in, I'm going to show you how to resize it. So first off to resize it vertically, which doesn't look great. We're going to click once and you're going to see this gray dot down here. All we then need to do is drag it up to wherever we want to take it. Now, if you think ah, actually this looks crap, <laughs> which it does, and you want to go back to its original aspect ratio, just double click this. So double click the gray, um, the gray dot, and that will put it back to what it was. Now to resize it to an aspect ratio that you want, vertically that is you're going to click edit and then you can crop it here so if we crop this horizontally it's still going to stretch so i'll show you what i mean if we crop it to be portrait that's not going to make it portrait and move it over it's just going to make it portrait and longer on the page like so so if i then double click to bring it to where it should be you see, it just looks ridiculous. So what we want to do, if we want to get the exact sort of ratio we want horizontally, we double click, edit, and then go into crop. And then we want to go for one of the landscape options. So we'll go widescreen, and then we can crop it in like this. And there we go. Hit save, hit save. And then we've got our resized image here. Now, if we want to then move it, Horizontally, we need to add a spacer block. So we click plus, spacer, and then we need to drag this spacer to the side. So I'm going to put it to the side here. And you can see we can shrink the image down using the spacer blocks. If we want to align it to the right, we just drag over to the other side, and then we can resize it this way, like so. So that's classic editor. If we add a section, a blank section and then add an image block to a fluid section. We'll use that same premise here. So add in the image and then to resize it, to make it smaller or larger or you know whatever you want to do, all we need to do is click one of these boxes here and drag it across. Now it's going to stay the same or shrink like this, but it's not going to fill. What you need to do is double click and go into design and then click fill to fill. <laughs> so that way, whenever you resize it, the whole image fills that block. So we can resize it like this, or we can just pull it wide. And um, the, the edge ones here, or the corner ones, should I say, they allow you to go vertically and horizontally at the same time. So if you wanted, you can just go, well, you could just go vertical or you could go vertical and horizontal like this. So you can do whatever you want, basically. So this gives you a lot more control over the block itself. I would always recommend going for a fluid engine section for 95% of use cases. As you can see, it just makes your life a whole lot easier. So hopefully this has helped. If it did, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.